all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sport 7 gh it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying now um ghana versus nigeria will be coming on yeah yeah ghana versus nigeria asete egbium in t um we are going to bring you the details and then thomas party yes thomas party is exceptional and has been exceptional for Arsenal Football Club over the weekend. He played as a right back for Arsenal in their 2 2 draw versus Liverpool at Emirates. And what a performance that was for Thomas Partey. Uh, we are going to look at his performance and some other news on him. And then Mohamed Kuros, West Ham United, and um, some other stories. We are bringing you the details in this video on this channel, Sports 7GH. Do want to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, select or leave your thoughts, comments below in the comment section if you have any toys. It's a great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying. Now, Ghana versus Nigeria will be coming on in the Wafu Zone B tournament that is ongoing. Um, Ghana under 20 will be playing versus Nigeria under 20 in the finals of the Wafu Zombi competition. Ghana, after beating, um, after beating Cote d'Ivoire 2-1 yesterday in the semi-finals, and then Nigeria, after beating um, Niger 3-1 emphatic in the semi-finals. Don't forget that those two games, the highlights of those two games, are all in this particular video on this um in in the this channel on this channel sports 7 ga so you can check it out and then enjoy the highlights all right so those two teams have qualified to the finals and it means that both teams have qualified for the 20 um the african cup of nations under 20 level the date for the competition is yet to be um announced but ghana and nigeria have automatically qualified so the finals will be coming on i think it will be during the weekends it's not yet we are not yet sure it will be communicated um but then we will see who wins the trophy is it going to be ghana under 20 or is it going to be nigeria under 20 who wins the trophy uh, we are going to monitor that and be rest assured that on this channel sports 7 gh we are going to bring you the highlights of the game um on this channel so subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell and select all so that anytime we drop a video you will be the very first person to have the video um what are your predictions for the game even before it comes on is it going to be ghana under 20 or nigeria under 20 let me know your thoughts comment views opinions in the comment section of the video yesterday arsenal football club played versus liverpool in the english premier league and it ended 2-2 um for both sides in fact a draw and i think it was a draw that arsenal will be happy with liverpool will also be happy with because if you look at the injuries and suspensions arsenal suffered uh, before the game and even during the game and you are able to get a 2-2 draw in fact for the large parts of the game arsenal were winning the game 2-1 um, but then liverpool equalized through mohammed salah um, so both teams will be very happy with the draw is that not it because liverpool you were losing the game and you got that 2-2 draw so obviously you'll be happy um, but Thomas Partey is a Ghanaian international who played for Arsenal Football Club and did very well for them. He played as a right back. <laughs> yes. And this season, if you look at the informed Liverpool players, one of them is... Um, um, oh, this player from Colombia. Oh, the Dini Baneko. <laughs> Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz is a very... He's informed for Liverpool. He's top-notch. And he's playing on the right side of Arsenal's defense. So, for Thomas Partey to play as a right um, back and then make sure that he tames um, Luis Diaz, no, it was a fantastic display for him. He had uh, a lot of tackles, a lot of interceptions. And um, Arsenal, after the game, were praising him for his exploits. And I'm sure that... For the fact that he was played out of position, we all know that the favorite position of Arsenal and um, for Thomas Partey is, is the midfield position. Um, and it looks like Thomas Partey, his time at Arsenal no, is going to... We, we should have a conversation on it. Because if Mikel Merino is able to play that defensive role very well, then it means Thomas Partey will be left out. Because 
Ateta wanted to play Mikel Merino in the midfield and have Rice with him together with the likes of Kai Havertz and the rest. And it looks like it worked. The player had a goal. Mikel Merino had a goal. They controlled the game for large parts of the game. So, Thomas, <laughs> maybe this season he's doing very well. He's played each and every game for us now. He's about one of the important players for us now. But I think that if every player is fit and if everybody is there and um, everybody is in their former maybe Mikel Ateta will not be willing to play Thomas Partey like that. Do you get it? Yeah, we should be thinking about that and see how things go. But let's wait and see. Um, but I think he's having a good season and maybe he will also get a one-year extension or two years extension. But let's see how things go with Thomas Party, who had a fantastic game versus Liverpool. Now, Mohamed Kourouz is suspended. In fact, he's been suspended as of now three games in the English Premier League because he got a straight record versus Tottenham Hotspur in the English Premier League. And um, yesterday, they, uh, they played versus... Uh, Manchester United, West Ham versus Man United. Massa penalty now, West Ham J and India, any penalty is not a penalty at all. But they scored a tangible and a fantastic goal, the first goal, no. And Somerville scored that goal um, and he went to hug Mohamed Kudus and the rest. After the game, Somerville said, Look, Kudus is somebody who inspires him a lot. He looks up to Mohamed Kudus, and that's the reason why he went to hug him after scoring. And in fact, Somerville came back from the bench and he told Kudus that, Look, I'm going to the game and I'll score. And I, when I come back, when I score, I'll make sure that I celebrate with you. And that is um, what Somerville had to say concerning his celebration with Mohamed Kudus, the suspended. West Ham United player. Don't forget that Kudus Mohamed's ban can be extended to up to six matches ban. So we are continuing to see whether the English FA will extend the ban or will leave it, or will leave it like that and make it just three games. Um, let's see how things go. But let's listen to some of what he had to say concerning his celebration with Mohamed Kudus. I say, yeah, yeah. But you have to always be alert in the in the box, you know. Uh, this kind of um, things happen, and uh, I was um, switch on, and uh, yeah, happily it came in front of my feet, you know. So, and some big emotion. Obviously, first the shirt came off, yeah. then you ran fifty yards to see Mo. Obviously, you know, you guys are close. Yeah, yeah, very close. I like Mo a lot, you know. I uh, look up to him as well on the pitch, off the pitch. So, um, yeah, I was happy. I told him when I come on, I'm gonna score and I'm gonna celebrate it with you. So that's why uh, the emotions came up. And it's nice, it shows that everybody's in together. You know, if you're going to the bench, Mo's obviously suspended. I think Lucas had just come off, he gave you a, a tap on the shoulder as well. So it proves, a, you know, the team spirit. Yeah, yeah, we stick together. I think the group is fantastic, you know. Mm. We're together in this and uh, yeah, I'm happy with the win so we can build from this and uh, go again next week. So yeah, really good squad. All right, yeah, so that's West Ham United player. Summerville's, um, what he had to say about Mohamed Kudus and his, the celebration he had with him. Do also subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, select or leave your thoughts, comment below in the comment section if you have any choice. It's a great pleasure to have you join us. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.